let's say you have an output that has an array and different objects inside. So let me show you how you can split it out and how you can actually map out those things separately in 8n. All right, so let's say I'm scraping Appify now. And as you can see here, we have three items. And th this is the schema. There's a URN. This is a LinkedIn post, right? And there's three items. So if you were to map this right now, you can only access, let's say, the first one. Let's say access easily without JavaScript. This is the first one, but you can see there's number one and two. These are different separate URNs, right? So let's delete this. What you can do is use the aggregate module. And in the aggregate module, you can see that we can here, uh, for example, take the text. And if we aggregate this, we're going to take the text from item number one, two and three. And now the beautiful thing is I can actually put this all into one and add it to one column. So these are the last three posts and make it into one column. And that's it. So that is the beauty of this aggregate module. You can access each of these items in an A N810 separately. Now, if I go to the next module after the aggregate, you can see I can get, for example, if I want to put post one, I will put uh, post one. As you can see, text JSON text zero, JSON text one, and JSON text two. So hope you hope you enjoy this video. Split out those items and enjoy. Watch this other video. See you. Bye.